I still don't know if I should put the barracks here. No, I'm probably gonna want to put my no. Yeah, I'm probably gonna want to put my uh my armory there instead. Put the armory here too. No, nah, I'm gonna put the armory over here. What I'm actually gonna do is do a little bit down. Put the armory right here. Here and then jail here, and probably f no. I should put, probably put the freezer over here with a door here for uh, people bring body bags in, and then a door over here for uh, getting the uh, bodies there quick from the area. I don't know why they put this little point here as mineable, considering there's no point around it aside from here that's mineable. So you, this spot cannot be used no matter what the uh, whatever the conditions are. not look again she must be freaking I was gonna say blonde but then I realized it's probably not a good idea to start making blonde jokes um then again my best friend is blonde so I'm making blonde jokes all the time <laughs> the best part about it is he is literally a dumb blonde you don't get any stupider than my friend it's funny Yeah, I'll fix it. I don't see you doing anything about it, just yapping at me. Now it's a little hard it's a little odd shaped room, so it's a little hard to maximize the absolute possible space. But whatever. That should do for most of Island 1, at least until I get my equipment storage rack. Maybe I'll keep this up here just in case I need to extend it a little bit. Either way, this can go. Now, actually, I'm going to use this space down here just as a small temporary control room. You know what? Screw it, don't need it. I can do AoEs without it. I need two workers. I'll send ten just to be safe. Since I don't need to steal, I'll put them on plotting. I forgot to uh, explain this. Okay, ha here's how this works. This here is the operatives you have in the region, as it clearly states operatives in this region. This is what you have available to send out. So what plotting does is any minions, uh, you can only set uh, the region to plotting, stealing, or hiding. You can't set individual minions. But whenever a region is set to a certain thing, that's what they'll do. So plotting means that all the minions in the region will look around for more acts of infamy. This is the only way to find more acts of infamy. Then stealing, well, simple enough, they're going to steal. They're going to go around and break banks and gamble, I suppose, and do whatever they want to get money to bring home to me my money 
As Billy the Kid had once said in Bill and Ted's Excellent Avenger, Adv uh, Adventure, What I win, I keep. What you win, I keep. Same basic thing. What they steal, I keep. Hiding is very special. It's not like plotting or stealing. What it does is it actually makes them do absolutely nothing. They go completely under the radar. You have to be careful when doing it while, while during an active infamy, though, because it will cancel your active infamy, and then you'll, ha you'll have to wait for the infamy, active infamy to cool down completely, and then you can restart it, but you can't pick it up where it left off. So if you're uh, only using it in dire things, like you know um, you're going to lose the active infamy anyways, you might as well save as many minions as you can by going into hiding, because you know maybe a, a super agent popped up, and there was already justice present there to begin with, and you know you're screwed, might as well hide and save your minions rather than have to train more minions to send out there, especially if it's a min, um, an AOE that AOI that ha needs a lot of minions. So, oh, wait, new goals. Oh, probably because I blew up my barracks. Now I don't have the completed barracks anymore. That's it. Okay, never mind. I'm good. Good. Yeah, I'm crazy, by the way, didn't you know? Okay, so I'll send another 10 over here. Once again, we're going to set them to plotting, because there's no need for stealing, because I'm using the humanity cheat at the mo at the point. And uh, there I thought there was one over here, too. Yeah, well, it's not there yet, but we'll find it. Yeah, those are kind of cute. Um, every time you do an active infamy, you'll get a little radio broadcast. It, uh, if either you win or you fail. Now they're pretty, generally pretty generic, but there are like mission specific ones. But what I like is each individual area kind of has its own. Like for instance, the ones here will be British because well, it's all in Great Britain. And actually, when you steal the Eiffel Tower, it's actually in French. Oh, I suppose that was a bit of a spoiler. But this is a walkthrough. Spoilers are recommend well not really recommended but you know what I mean and when you get to here um, the Indian subcontinent despite the fact it's ruled by the same uh, Justice Alliance Sabre instead of British people it'll be you know Indian people because it's the Indian subcontinent now although I have more people incoming to this area I want to try it when I only had the four people there because it's most likely going to fail and you can see what happens when I fail. Meanwhile, building. What are you guys all standing around for? Whatever. I'm gonna come have Max come stand up here. Oh, two people just died. What the numbers mean um, here? If you see a number suddenly, if it br goes bright red and you see a number suddenly appear. That's just how that's how many minions were just suddenly killed off in one go. Now, how do you complete an active infamy? You don't have to have more than the active infamy when it wins. You just have to have at least one single of any unit that was applicable for the uh, active infamy. Wow, it actually worked. Now, like I said, um, you don't actually have to have more than the resources required in order to actually complete the acts of infamy. You just need to have um, uh, whatever whatever workers are needed, at least one of them. Like, say I needed two guards, two valets, and two technicians. So let's say everybody but a single guard was killed off. I would still succeed because a guard is needed. And actually, I th now that I think about it, I might actually, you might not actually even need what's on the list. You might just need to have operatives left in the region at the point. 
Because I remember um, the mission where you have to put a diplomat into certain Senate offices around the world. On one of those missions, you need to, all you need is one diplomat, and that's it. But it's a dangerous mission, so I always give them backup. And I, get, I send like three diplomats, plus, you know, guards, mercenaries, some con workers, and a henchie. And er, I think everybody, including the diplomats, died, all three of them, with the exception of, I think it was a mercenary, and I think I still succeeded. I, I'd have to look into that. Maybe I'll test that later. Maybe when I come back to that exact one mission, I'll put in one diplomat and one con worker. Most likely the single diplomat will be killed, but I can't guarantee that. One more thing I should mention about the world map: every um, oh, I forgot to say he was applauding. Good night. Yeah, every oh he's still stealing too. Every um, minion type has different stats and different things of what they do in the world map. The con worker is pretty much bad in all aspects. He's a, a little better in defending other minions, but he's still complete crap at it. But like an example, um, biotech. Uh, Biotechnicians, or whatever they're called there, um, are the best plotting. They plot about eight times better than a con worker. The only thing that can uh, match it, I believe, is Dr. Neuroside. One of the uh, henchmen. Possibly him, possibly the butcher too, but I think he might only be about six or seven times as good as a con worker. Um, the ba uh, and uh, another thing is... Um, all scientific minions will reduce the time needed for uh, acts of infamy up to half. So, for instance, a 10 minute act of infamy, and yes, there are ones that are that long, can be shortened down to 5 minutes. You know, something that's a minute and a half will be shortened down to 45 seconds, just as an example. As far as I know, there's nothing shorter than 1 minute, with the exception of gathering the supply crates for the rocket in the second island, which I think are only 30 second missions, which are shortened uh, to 15 if you have enough science uh, to, uh, minions. I think those are the shortest acts of infamy. But they're also ones that are going to rack up the most heat and probably set the last three ages after you. Maybe not John, depends how, how active you were before that point, if, or uh, it depends how many you already have on you at that point as well. But yeah, be prepared. So... I don't think we can find the archives till after we kill the agent, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Now, when you tag things, everything that sees those tags that can respond to that particular tag will. Now, since I now have a body bag lying around it's right there, um, I unlock the freezer room. Now, one thing I'm going to do just for now until I get my freezer up and operational is I'm going to move these outside. The reason being, as you see, if you click on them, they have an a, they have a uh, a circle of influence. This even matters if they're being carried. Now, unlike most circle of influences, this one's actually a negative, and there's no way to tell a negative one from a positive except by looking at the arrows around them. So, as you can see, as as something walked by, they get purple, blue, or purple and blue arrows pointing down. Now, purple is attention, and blue is loyalty. So that means that the, the uh, loyalty and attention of all minions in the circle of influence for each uh, each body bag is being sapped. Not good. That's why I'm moving them outside, because less minions are going to be outside around the side of the base at this point. Um, the freezer has special properties of nullifying every circle of influence in it. This includes body bags, this includes loot, this includes max or whatever other evil genius that you've chosen. Um, this actually does make it a great candidate though for storing um, the um, the pieces of the uh, totem pole that you'll find later. I'll explain. I'll come to that later. Due to the fact that they all have negative auras as well. But you'll want to gather them for a very specific reason which you'll see later. Now a little interesting thing about um, freezer racks is if you look at them carefully they have um, one single footprint in the middle but they're, th they're one by three so you can stack them in a nice little convenient U shape like, th like what I have here and have all three easily accessible and still have 
you know, that, that really uses up uh, less room so you can stack even more in a time. So I'll put one here. And I'll put one here. And I'll put one up here. Now look at that, I stuffed a lot of freezer racks into that room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, I think is my count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And a very small one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it's an eight by nine room. And I stuck thirteen freezer racks, which are one by three. I'm going to throw double doors on there. Okay, now, is my armory unlocked too? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, anybody who's stuck to my other walkthroughs know that, knows that I like a pretty armory. I like my armories to feel pretty. Ta da! Ah, that's off center, isn't it? Ah, there we go. You'll see what I'm doing here. It's a nice little trick I like that, um, It's kind of like a separate jail. There we go. Now I'm going to put a little bit of corridor straight down the middle. Now if you notice, I left a little bit of space at the top and bottom here. That allows to put cameras in and to put a door in. And what this does is it puts this nice little frame around where each jail cell is going to go. So it kind of really illustrates the point of a jail. Of course, I can't build holding cells yet, can I? Oh, yes, I can. Then you put a door there, a door there, a door there. Now what you do with this is you set it up so that way there is, um, um, I can't put my desks in yet. There's one desk for, you know, the base up here, so you can keep an eye on the base up here. And you'll want a second security desk that's specifically for this area here. 